Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this session. I'm Srishti, I work in the technical collaboration team at the Media Foundation. And I'll be giving you a very quick and high level overview of technical areas in the Wikimedia sphere. So um, it's mostly like, likely be, it's mostly going to be like a refresher of what you have already heard in the opening. But if you are still not sure what you want to work on at the hackathon or you are uh, new to our technical areas or you consider yourself as a newcomer, then it might be useful for you. So, but if it's not the case, then you still have 30 seconds to decide whether you want to be in the session or not. <laughs> All right, so these are some of the technical areas that I want to talk about. And as I introduce you to these areas, I will give you one example of a project that is related to an area, languages that you would need if you want to get involved, and mentors who related to these areas are present at the beginning of Hackathon and will be happy to let you get started. I want to start out with those areas first, which we think are suitable for newcomers and are most recommended ones. So to start with, we have media wiki extensions. Extensions basically extend the functionality of media wiki software, which is the core software that comes with basic functionality. Um, and when I say media wiki, I mean software that you might have seen already that powers the content of Wikipedia and other wiki sites. Each extension serves some kind of purpose. It's most recommended area for newcomers to get started. You can help in two ways. Either you can help develop a completely new extension or improve existing extensions. And anything which is media wiki related that I will share in my presentation. For that, you would need PHP, jQuery, JavaScript, CSS, Less, and MySQL and MariaDB for database handling. To give you an example of an extension, it's called Echo, which provides a notification system that can be used by other extensions as well. Uh, and what I mean by that is, so if you have used MediaWiki, you might have noticed that you get notifications for all kinds of things, like when your user rights were changed, or when somebody mentioned you on a Wiki page, or you created a topic, uh, or someone created a topic on your page. So for all those things, you get notifications, and they are being handled by this extension. So, mentors, Mario and Matt, they are attended Wikimania Hackathon. So you can get in touch with them, and they are, again, similar to extension. There are two ways you can help, uh, either by creating a new notification site or help improve the existing ones. Then we have mobile apps, which are available for Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons. How many of you don't know what Wikimedia Commons is? So Wikimedia Commons is a project which is supported by the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, it is a shared repository of multimedia files, images, audio, videos, etc. And there is a mobile app as well, which is uh, maintained by community members. So basically, using this app, you can upload pictures from your uh, from, from your mobile phone and view nearby missing pictures. So it's like really cool in a way if you're on a vacation and you see a nearby spot for which there is a missing picture, you can straight away upload it from your phone. So this is also a very newcomer-friendly project. Um, and mentor Voitesh is attending Wikimania. If you're interested in contributing, I can help you connect with him. And for mobile development, you would need Objective-C, Swift for iOS development, and Java for Android. Then we have desktop apps, and I want to give you an example of two such apps. One is Evix, which is a third-party offline content reader. It allows access to Wikipedia content through Zim, which is an open standardized file 
the format. It's being used in a lot of places where there is poor internet connectivity. Uh, there are a lot of organizations that have uh, tried to get schools to use QX, for example. Um, there are different versions of QX. For example, there is a browser extension, there is a desktop app, there, there are, again, iOS and Android apps as well. All the three mentors are present at Wikimania Hackathon, and depending on what version of QX you want to contribute to, you will need different kinds of skills, so this is also one space to work in. Then there is another desktop app, which is Hover. It is an anti-vandalism tool that helps revert edits, which are problematic. Again, a project that we think is suitable for new developers. For this, you would need C++ and Qt framework, which is a cross-platform and graphical user interface to make for C++, so you will need skills like that. Mentor Better is at Wikimedia again. Then there's also an area which is machine learning, and this, uh, an example of this you have already heard from Aaron today in the opening ceremony. Um, so I want to just quickly highlight this again. So it's a web service and API that allows you to store and edit and then help evaluate it in the sense that whether an edit made on a wiki is a bad quality edit or a good quality edit. Um, so if you're interested in this space, you can uh, contact Aaron and Aaron. And these are the skills that you will need. There's also an forest extension. So if you ended up contributing to the extension side, then you would need the same skills you need to contribute to media with PhD and marketing, etc. Okay. Cloud services. This again you heard from Brian in the opening ceremony. So cloud services team uh, is a team of volunteers and staff members whose work is basically to empower the work of technical contributors. Uh, they provide you a hosting environment for running tools and bots. And mostly when uh, they think that your tool and bot in a way is going to add value to the Wikimedia ecosystem. And what I mean by that is I'll show you by an example in my next slide. Uh, besides that, it also uh, supports, not only lets you post these tools, but also support the operation, creation, and maintenance of these tools. And there are like more than a thousand tools hosted via these services. So an example of a project that is leveraging cloud services is Wikipedia dashboard. And this again you heard in the opening ceremony from mentor Sage Ross. Uh, Wiki at Dashboard is a web application that supports Wiki, uh, Wikipedia education assignments, provides data and course management for instructors and students. There are a lot of uh, community members all around the world who use this platform to run editathons. This is also a very newcomer friendly project. Uh, mentor, is, mentor Sage Ross is present, and you will need for this Ruby, JavaScript, and HTML, which is a templating system for HTML. So, so far, what I mentioned was uh, the projects and technical areas for which I know that we are featuring projects for new developers or at least are documented on our new developers page, the link to which I will share later. From now on, I'm going to share areas for which at least I'm not aware of uh, we are featuring any specific task or project, but I'm sure if you're, if you're interested in that space, we'll be more than happy to help you connect with uh, folks here. So when investing the eyes, you can use them to look things up or write words or create tools or visualizations. And when you use these APIs to query, then you get data in XML or JSON format, and then it's totally up to you how you want to use that data. So kind of stuff that you can do with these APIs is create or edit a page or view revisions or list citations or delete or merge pages. Basically what you can do using the interface, you can do things programmatically. So an example of this is listen to Wikipedia project. I will let you listen 
for a few seconds. So this project is also an example uh, that is leveraging some of our web, web APIs. I think they're using recent changes web API and um, they use it to visualize real-time edits happening on Wikipedia. So the large circle that you see in this video, it shows large chunk of edit made, and then small circle represents small, smaller edits made, and vice versa. Could so I just ask though, when you say a large chunk of edit, is that one person editing, making a big change, <coughs> or a lot of people making small changes? One person, yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Um, then we have Media Wiki skins. So this is about look and feel of Media Wiki. And there are two angles to it. So as a user, you can use your uh, favorite skin from user preferences. The default one is that is called Vector that you see the default interface. But there are four or five options from which you can choose. There's also a way to write your custom CSS uh, by simply creating a page as a sub page of your user page. Uh, and then what that does is it overrides the default functionality of the, the, the default skin. And as a developer, you can either help improve existing skins or write a new one. Uh, there is Isara, who you might have heard talking in the opening. She does a lot of work with skins, so if you're interested in the, in the space, you can uh, reach out to her. Then we have templates, which are standard wiki pages embedded inside other pages. Have you used templates here before? Um, so basically the idea behind templates is to allow people to re reuse other people's work and help avoid uh, duplicated content. It's pretty easy to create them. You just create a page and name it as template colon name of the template and then you can use it in any of the other wiki pages by using the syntax which is on the right side of the site. In the other places you want it. Um, you, you can uh, use a variety of skins to write templates, use Wikitext as you normally do to edit a page, or you can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. There's also a scripting language that we use to write complicated templates, which is Lua. And there are a lot of people at the hackathon who I met uh, who are like, really expert in Lua programming, so if you're interested in that space, I can help you. Um, then we have gadgets and user scripts. They are JavaScript code snippets that extend the functionality of MediaWiki. They're pretty much like extensions. That uh, was uh, the first mention on my slide. But what I think uh, they're different from them is that the code for user scripts live on Wiki, but extensions are sort of in Wiki. And whenever a user script a site admin thinks is going to be useful for a lot of people, then that gets promoted to gadget. So an example of gadget is navigation pop-ups. So if you have ever noticed a pop-up showing up and you hover on a link on Wikipedia, then that's nothing but a gadget uh, working behind the scenes. And the cool thing about it is that you can actually see the code, what is inside um, the code um, for a gadget by going to the corresponding page on Wikipedia itself. Then we have bots, which are a lot, we have a lot of bots. And they are automated tools that help you perform um, operations that are tedious or are repetitive, a lot of things. Um, for example, help fix spelling mistakes or grammatical errors or reward vandalism or upload images from somewhere to comments. And an example of bot is FireWiki bot, which is uh, very well maintained, I believe, in comparison to other bots. 
for this you would need Py uh, Python uh, programming language familiar with Python and then other people like this. So these are uh, mostly all the technical areas that I talked about. There are four or five remaining, which I will tell you quickly. But do we have any questions so far? Um. Are there some sites like where I can just got all the extensions which are available or all the tools that we like where do I find and this where I can look for? Uh, yes. So in my later in my slide I have a link to a page that you can go to and find all about a technical area. Yeah. I have some question. Uh, uh, for example when uh, like the, this developer community decides to develop an uh, interesting uh, new extension like uh, Echo. Uh, where do I get the news about that you have a great new extension? Maybe you want to participate, maybe you want to just submit new ideas. Uh, where is this uh, like the main uh, channel where this is published uh, if, I, if you want to follow technical news? Okay. So that I think Kim or Chris might be the answer. Yeah. Uh, at least there's tech news in Mecca. Uh, you can subscribe there. Uh, you go to Mecca and you search for tech news. I think that is, this is a weekly newsletter, quite to the point, very concise, and, and it gives all the technical analysis. It's not an idea if you only are looking for that, but we are trying to implement the, the Florida newsletter extension that would allow us to create more specialized. So, okay, um, since we have less time remaining, I'll quickly tell you about some other ideas. So, site operations, uh, again, there is a dedicated team that handles Wikimedia server infrastructure, and there are about 800 plus wikis that they support. They also take care of a bunch of other things like resource allocation or hardware and software requirements. And they rely on a configuration management system like via Puppet. So if you're interested in those space, it's also one area to look into. There's another which is quality assurance and continuous integration. So if you want to help our, help test our projects, uh, do manual or automated testing, help write some browser or unit tests, then there's also one space. Then, um, translation, design, and documentation are the interesting ones because they span across all our technical areas. You can contribute either, uh, like, you know, you can either make a technical or non technical contribution in the sense that, for example, the translation. You can either help translate documents or uh, you can contribute to extension, translate extension things like that. And same applies to documentation. So you can either help um, with, with documentation on MediaWiki or you can help with technical documentation, write documentation for things that are missing in our code base and stuff like that. So you asked about the, the resources page. So these are the two where you will find most the information which I shared in my slides. How to contribute, which will uh, have information about all the technical areas, and then the new developers page on which you will find all the, the projects that I mentioned are suitable for newcomers uh, and for which we have mentors uh, mentors present at Wikimania. And these mentors, they are they are going to be present at the session which is right after this one. So you, if you're interested in any of those projects, you can. Uh, have more in-depth conversations with them right after this. And if you have any questions, since we don't have time, I think, well, we have two minutes of time, but that's not enough. Um, so if you have any questions, you can ping me on IRC or come and talk to me in person. My IRC handle is also the same as my Twitter handle. And, um, yeah.
moving to the hacking room, the main room, and then participate in that. that. Which is the session after this, please? Sorry? What, what is the session after this? Oh, so uh, the session is a, it's a personalized uh, matching ceremony where newcomers who want to work who want to work on projects or oh. want to learn new skills, they can talk to specific people who will be there at the session to tell more about their projects or skills. Okay, thank you. Yeah.